just about ready. Gates are back and they sent on their way from that 1800 meter marker. It looked to be a good start. Fellow Davian, one of the early leaders on the outside is Williamson also showing pace and behind that is Lieutenant Alexander at the rail. Celtic Rush is also up with the leaders so on settling down, it's Williamson that's gone to the front, gone clear by two lengths from Celtic Rush at the fence in second. On its outside in the yellow sleeves is uh, Desert Fox. Then came Lieutenant Alexander, white sleeves and cap at the fence. They followed by Phila Davian that races on that one's outside. Then Mojave Man, Man's Knight in the yellow and blue towards the back end, Broadway in the white, just cruising along in the gold body and blue cap and racing at the back end is going global. And that would be about eight lengths from first to last now. It's in front. Williamson passed the 1,000 meter marker. Got it by one length to Desert Fox is raced up into second. Celtic Rush is on the panels in third. They followed by Phila Davin in the red with the black sleeves. They followed by uh, Lieutenant Alexander. On the outside is Broadway coming a little bit wide into the turn. Mojave Mans further back in the field. Then comes just cruising along going global the pink cap towards the back with Mans Knight. They homeward bound now. They come past the 600 meter marker in front is Williamson, Celtic Rush in the orange with the black sleeves is there as well. Desert Fox, Broadway on the extreme outside and Lieutenant Alexander towards the inside as they come past the 400 meter market Celtic Rush that's now picked up the lead Desert Fox towards the outside Williamson, Lieutenant Alexander towards the inside running on to Man's Knight coming in from the back end of the field also got a say now as they come to the 200 Celtic Rush in front from in second Williamson, Man's Knight towards the inside but Celtic Rush Rush is in front, and that will be Celtic Rush that will go on and win it. Man's Knight tries hard to come back, but Celtic Rush gets there. Second to Man's Knight, then Williamson, Feladavian, Mojave Mans, then came Lieutenant Alexander. So here's the head on replay. Here is uh, Celtic Rush in the middle with the black sleeves and orange cap. Williamson in the goal towards the inside. Man's Knights in the blue and yellow. Three from the left-hand side. That was the main challenge for Celtic Rush. But uh, Celtic Rush kept on finding. So it's 2, 5, 3 and 6. The numbers for the last race of the day. All right, so that's how we close it off. And uh, the man I've been waiting to speak to is Gavin Larina. It's great to have him back in the winner's enclosure after a nasty fall yesterday out at Hollywood Bets Gravel. Well done to David Neverhazen. Things going along nicely. And, uh, of course, to all the owners, Mrs. James T. Faree, Al DeLunger, and the Neverhazen family. This one bred by the Summer Hill Stud Farm gets it right at the eighth time of asking. Gav, great to see you in good spirits. I know that, um, obviously nervy moments yesterday and I'd imagine it was because of the shadow just after the post yesterday but um, you're up fighting and uh, the professional that you are you're back here at Turfentine and you've just had a winner. Yeah thanks very much Ben. A um, bit of a frustrating day but uh, glad to get on the board. Um, you know pure predator got done at the start and ended up out of my ground. Uh, Jimmy Don he was needing the run today obviously prepping for the July um, but a great run from him and just big thanks to David. Uh, Great to get on the board and, and great to get this boy home. Look, I mean, they're a small yard. I know that you've been with David for a long time. And uh, even though a small yard, they know how to train and they're producing the winners. I think that's three winners now in a space of just over seven days. Yeah, he's, uh, Dave's a very good trainer. Um, you know, he knows how to get his horses fit and well. And uh, it's always a pleasure riding for him. Um, I love riding for the small guys and uh, just wish he could get some more horses. But um, great to get the win. Great for Celtic. Uh, I rode him as a baby and I said, guys, he's, he's only going to be a, like a late three-year-old. He's, he's going to take a bit of time to mature. And he's still maturing. He's still quite a leggy horse. And um, But I think he, he's going to get better with time and with age. Um, and obviously when he gets over a bit further. Gav, if you don't mind me asking, I know there's been a few punters. Uh, Jimmy Don has been well-backed in the anti-post market uh, for the Hollywood Bets Durban July. I mean, he, he towed you through going to the 400, and like you said, you were quick to mention he needed the run, and that's probably why he just flattened underneath you a bit. Yeah, look, obviously he wasn't well-weighted today, um, and the July is, you know, is the target. So we've left uh, definitely some meat on the bone, and we just needed to get this run into him to to put him exactly where we need to be. So I think this will bring him on a lot. And uh, I think he's very well weighted in the July. 
and I think he's going to be very competitive. Well, Gav, it's just good to see you in one piece because I know these days, very fragile and yeah. um, anything can happen, but you're in one piece. You've had your medical diagnostics done and you're going to continue riding for the week. I was just chatting to you a little bit sore after this, so you're probably going to go and get all the treatment you need. Yeah, 100%. I've got my physios and chiropractors and the works. <laughs> They're waiting in the wings and uh, might go for an ice bath to Kev. But... Um, well done to, to the Faris, to the Delangas, to the Nivazen family, and to, I don't know if to call him Mr. Diskem or, <laughs> or Mr. Long Island Ice Tea, but well done to all of you. <laughs> well done, Gav. Good Thank to you. see you as always. Thank well done to Gavin Larina. And a very happy birthday to my beautiful mom. Okay. Um, she's here today at the races, and uh, she never comes racing. She's my biggest supporter. So um, just happy, happy birthday. This one is for you. And uh, thank God we could get on the board. And I'm just blessed to have an amazing mom that's an angel sent from God. You do have a lovely family. Well done, Gavin. Thank you. Good stuff. That's Gavin Larina. Great to have mom at the races today. And um, yeah, we wish you good to have uh, Vix here as well uh, with the little ones. Davey, well done. I was just chatting to Gav now. I mean, what's that? Three winners in just over a space of seven days. So things going along nicely. Yeah, no, thank goodness. And that uh, it'll be a short drive home again, you know. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say much. I think Gavin said everything. Um, I must big thanks to to John and Len. Um, you know they're the partners in the horse and that. Uh, and John bred bred him. Um, we had a geld him unfortunately. I was hoping that we'd keep him entire, but you know we won from you and he's learning. So we'll go forward from it. I'd like John to obviously have his say. Yeah, uh, I can't say much more than Gavin and that. And um, he's still learning to race. Yeah. Well, look to the viewers. He has a man that knows how to train a horse. He's got some boxes available, like I was saying, three winners in a space of just over seven days. And uh, you're more than happy to have new owners, new clients in the yard. Yeah, there's empty boxes, so we can always absolutely always. accommodate them, yeah. Yeah, good man, good trainer, good stuff, yeah, Davy. Thanks, cheers. There we go. David Niverhazen, well done to him. Let's call um, the connections. In fact, you are going to represent the groom. Uh, 1,500 Rand will go the way of the winning groom over here. Do you know the groom's name? Edward Mosane. All right, so there we go. Edward Mosane, well done. 1,500 Rand, courtesy of World Sports Betting. Come and join us, please, sir. Lovely to have you. I know that uh, we've caught up a number of times and it's always better to meet you in the winner's enclosure. Uh, you're also very much a couple that travels quite a bit and um, yeah, I mean, lovely win today. Well deserved. Well, I'm very happy with the win and I've got to just say to the Nivenazans, thank you for what they've done. I mean, they've done some amazing things with this horse. We really worried at one stage about him and then I want to say well done to my cousin Leonard who's part of the horse or in partnership with me and also it's the first horse that it's actually won in my colours here so yes okay. I'm very excited. Yeah look I mean there's been frustrating times I mean it's well documented I mean out at the Vol the one day when late scratching and yep. things didn't go according to plan but um, it's all about patience at the end of the day this game teaches you that very well so Definitely. well done over here to you guys I know that you're a lovely couple last word from you ma'am. Just want to say thank you to Gavin and David and his team. Absolutely thank you. good trainers very yeah, underrated. And, and sorry I've got to say uh, Gavin what a phenomenal, phenomenal ride. Absolutely. He's yeah. professional, isn't he? Perfect. This, he knows his business. But you see, I actually said to him, if he doesn't win, it's going to be 10 long island ice tees he has to down. So. <laughs> I would also want to be in the winner's enclosure. Well done, guys. Good Thank to see you as always. Thanks. Thanks. Have a lovely evening. There we go. We're going to present you with a check as well. Uh, courtesy of the ROA, you get a nice 7,500 rand, which will pay for the Long Island ice tees. <laughs> There we go. Thank you very much to the team. Well done to all concerned. Well done to David Neverhazen. Of course, a big well done to him and his family, to uh, Mrs. JMT Fari Aldelanga, and to the entire Neverhazen team. They'll be very happy that Celtic Rush has been able to come and wrap up racing. Top ride, Gavin Lorena, and it's great to have him back in one piece uh, this afternoon. Happy birthday to his beautiful mom as well. All right, so the car show continues. I tell you what, the engines have been opened up next door to me. Uh, the revving continues, so thank you to everybody that's come out to join us at Turfentine on this cold, chilly Sunday afternoon. Thanks to Clyde in the commentary box. Thanks to Nakib and to Ricky, who's been heading up the production. Uh, we've had PK, we've had Mabel, uh, Seapors here as well. There's so many members that are part of this team that put this production together. And a big thank you to each and every one of them. That's the Jubilee race day done and dusted. Well done to Porto Manzana, to Johan Janssen van Feeren, to Keegan Damello. Come the first Saturday of July, the Hollywood Bets Durban July 
by Porto Manzano has now certainly earned his way and got a ticket into the big one on that uh, particular day. And we wish Keegan and the rest of the family, Lawrence Verners, all have played a big part in Porto Manzano's life. And we wish them all the best uh, going into the Hollywood Bets Durban July. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye uh, because I think it's the Audis, the BMWs, the GTIs. The engines have opened up. So from Turfentine, be safe. Enjoy your Sunday afternoon. Bye-bye.